Hello and welcome to game two of our doubleheader here today. It is October 16th, 2019. We're going to be watching the Dayton Flyers, number eight in the nation, hosting the Eastern Illinois Panthers. Flyers 4-1 on the season and the Panthers 3-2. and two. Pretty solid team though. Scott McGregor, 10 touchdowns, 4 picks. Pretty solid roster. 280 yards on the ground for Brandon James this season. True freshman halfback, just one fumble. So some pretty solid stats for some of these young players. The receiving core is pretty decent as well. McConnell, three touchdowns. Jones with three. And Weber with one. The Discord pick'em has the Flyers winning this one, but it's another close vote, just like our last game. 15 votes for Dayton and nine for Eastern Illinois. So I'm not sure what you guys are thinking right now. Dayton is a top 10 football team, but, you know, that's your own opinions, whatever. Take a look at the roster quick. Head coach John Gruden in his second season. And there are the top players for the Dayton Flyers and the Houston Illinois Panthers. 38 tackles for their middle linebacker. Tank Taylor, six sacks on the season. And Jared Martin, fifth-ranked quarterback in the EFL prospect pool. He's been pretty solid. This season he struggled a little bit with turnovers and accuracy, but we're working on it. Mari Manuel, top 10 receiver as well. And here we are, Flyers on offense first. Martin to throw it, and he's gonna roll out left side, avoiding defenders. And Jared Martin picks up seven yards. Not often do we see him running the football. Second down and three, Smash Jackson carry right side in the open field. Smash Jackson's gonna take this one all the way. What a run. My goodness. Smash Jackson, <laughs> with that run, gets him over 500 yards. And that's his fourth touchdown. Top 10 defensive lineman prospects. Tank Taylor, number two. And Rob Orlandi, the number two linebacker prospect. Rob Orlandi, of course, uh, phenomenal catching the football. One pick this year, but he had 11 last season. And there's a quick three and out for the Panthers. Flyers looking to take a two-score lead. Martin rolling right and throws it right. James Skaggs has the reception, his fifth on the season, and his 20th for his career. Smash Jackson, another nice carry. Picks up 12 yards on the first down. 41 yards per carry so far for him. And we're gonna see the freshman here, Sonny Six. He gets the carry. He's in the top five for the Heisman vote right now. He picks up 11 yards and a first down. Second down and 10. Martin looking to throw it again. Deep shot, right side. Trent Green is there. He's on the five touchdown. Flyers. Trent Green with his second touchdown reception this season. And that's his sixth of his career. Panthers looking to answer, but James is destroyed. Oh my goodness. And that's number 55. The true freshman outside linebacker, DB Slope, and the four star talent. And what a monster he has been this season. This pass is caught by Weber. I don't know how he fit it into that tight window, but first down Panthers. The two freshman linebackers, both with 20 tackles on the season. And I believe Dirt Davis was actually injured for a couple games. He was just having a monster run until he got hurt. And this pass is caught by Cole, or Landy out in coverage. I'm not sure how he came up with that. Great play by the receiver. Ready to throw again. This time he's picked off. Rob Orlando gets his second of the season. And 13th for his career. He leads all of our subscriber players with interceptions uh, with 13. And that's a big one. His team now has an opportunity to go up three scores here in the first quarter. And Martin, look, he's got a man wide open. Smash Jackson inside the 10 and down inside the five-yard line. I don't know how they let him get so wide open. Smash Jackson, just his fourth career reception. And here is George, the freshman fullback, getting the touchdown. Flyers on top, 21-0. Here at home against the Eastern Illinois Panthers in Big Ten matchup. Just over a minute left here in the first. McGrady looking for something to go his way, but he's going to be sacked. And that is a non-subscriber defensive end, Carter. Grady looking to throw now again, and he's sacked again. Oh my goodness. Not sure who got him on that one, but the Flyers get the ball back after a quick three and out from the Panthers. And Martin throws it up deep. Sonny Six wide open to the 16-yard line. That's his first career reception, believe it or not. And Dorian Wurl's now in a quarterback. Dorian Wurl finds the pylon in the end zone. Touchdown, Flyers. They're on top. 28-0. 
over the three and two Eastern Illinois Panthers. We're with the second touchdown run of the season. Over 100 yards rushing now, and McGrady is going to be sacked again. And that time it was Cash Harris, his fifth of the season, ninth for his career. And the Flyers are just marching right now, and there's Amari Manuel making a catch, his ninth of the season. The 44 yard line, Martin looking to throw off his back foot, deep shot, right side. Trent Green comes down with it somehow inside the 10 yard line. I don't know how that ball ended up in his hands. Oh my goodness. What an unbelievable throw and catch. Martin under center, third down and goal. Martin looking to throw it. And right side, and James Skaggs, touchdown, fires. Skaggs gets his second touchdown of the season. Fourth for his career. My goodness, they are just putting on a clinic right now. Jared Martin on fire. 35 nothing here in the second quarter. McGrady's gonna be sacked again. Cash Harris, 10 career sacks now. Ready pressured, throws right side, almost picked off. That would have been a pick six for D.B. Slocum. Instead, it's another three and out for the Panthers. Martin looking to throw it, and he's going to be sacked. Nobody got open, the pressure got to him. And there was a holding call, so they would have lost yards either way. Second down and 17, Trent Green is on fire. Watch out for him, and they'll set up a screen pass to him. And he's got four defenders in front of him. Breaks the tackle. Trent Green still up. Trent Green gets the first down. Oh, my goodness. How do you let him get through all that traffic for the first down? Now second and ten. Martin hit as he throws. This could be trouble, and it is. It's picked off by McKinney. And that pass was altered due to the hit on the quarterback. That's going to end the first half. 35 nothing. Flyers on top. Just completely controlling this football game right now. And here's Sonny Six hitting a carry inside the 25-yard line. First down and 10. Martin to throw deep shot right side. He's picked off again by McKinney. His second one of the ball game. Not a very good throw, but the Panthers are at their own one-yard line. They go with a toss play, and James is dropped for the safety. And that was number eight, Jermaine Price. Getting the safety, the quarterback coming through on the blitz. This is third career tackle for a loss, and it results in two points. My goodness. 37 0. Here is Sonny Six getting another carry here. 11 yard pickup and a first down. And Willie Wallace is injured on the play for the Panthers. First down to 17. And Martin looking to throw it. Martin is going to find George, the freshman fullback, up to the 32-yard line for the first down. It's now third down and six. Dorian Ward is going to take off. No, he's going to throw it up, and that is incomplete. He should have just took off with it. Instead, the Flyers will have to settle for a field goal attempt here. 25-mile-an-hour wins here in Dayton, Ohio, and that just squeezes through for three. 40 to nothing here in the third. McGrady to throw. McGrady is going to be sacked again. He has been on his back most of this ball game. Second and 18 coming up. And McGrady will look to throw quickly. Left side to Jones, and he almost picks up the first down. And Dirk Davis on the tackle. Third down and two, and McGrady pitches it out to James. He does not get the first down. Huge tackle. And that'll bring up fourth down. Flyers looking to pour it on. Martin. Rolling out right side, throws it up, and he finds Trent Green on the sideline for the first down. Now second and ten, Sonny Six is in the open field. He'll have another first down up past the 45-yard line. He's got 732 yards this season. And he's also got ten touchdowns. Martin hit as he throws again, but deep shot, Trent Green. Oh my goodness. What a game he's having. Second down on 11. Martin over the middle, but he's picked off again by Brown. Third pick of the ball game. Brown might take it all the way. Instead, George tracks him down. Oh, my goodness. And there's a holding call on the return. So the Panthers are going to be at their own four-yard line. And they go with another toss play, and it results in another safety. D.B. Slocum gets the safety for the Flyers. So two Jared Martin interceptions. Inside the five yard line result in four points for the Flyers and Sonny Six takes this one all the way. They can do nothing.
the wrong today on the ground. 59-yard touchdown run. Panthers stuck on a third down and one situation. They're 0 for 6 in the ball game. And they're going to be 0 for 7 now. Flyers are going to get the ball again. Third down and 11, though. Play action from Dorian Wura. And he's going to roll around right side. He's going to take off. He's got the first down. Too easy for the speedy quarterback. It's 49-0, folks. Less than three minutes left here in the ballgame. And Dorian Wura is going to pick up another first down, I think. Very close to it. They're down in two. Smash Jackson is in the open field. Look out, folks. Inside the 30. Inside the 10. Inside the end zone. Touchdown, Flyers. Smash Jackson, two huge touchdown runs today. Gives him five touchdowns on the season. And here is Ratliff for the Panthers. They're just trying to get something going here. Less than 100 yards of offense for Eastern Illinois. And this pass is caught by Cole. To get them over 100 yards for the for the game. Price is injured. That is not a good sign for the Flyers. Hopefully he's okay. One of our subscriber players here on the Flyers. And this pass is going to be picked off. Rob Orlandi has it. And he's got a convoy blocking for him. Rob Orlandi might take it all the way. Inside the 20. And inside the 10 down to the 5-yard line. Rob Orlandi, two picks here today. Three on the season. My goodness. And Sonny Six is going to finish that quick. The four-yard touchdown run is 11th of the season. Oh, my goodness. I'm losing my voice. 63 to nothing, folks. Just over a minute left in the ball game. Panthers just playing for pride now, trying to get on the board here. And Green's going to fumble the football, and it's recovered by the Flyers. Oh, my goodness. First down and 10. Dorian Wura, right side, pitches Sunny six, and he's inside the five yard line, down to the four. He's got a buck 42 today. First and goal. Toss, Smash Jackson, touchdown, Dayton. Three rushing touchdowns for him today. That gives him six on the season. 22 seconds left, third down. And this pass is picked off by DB Slocum. Oh my goodness. This has just been. A travesty of a game for Eastern Illinois. Smash Jackson is going to have his fourth touchdown in the ball game as the Flyers just running up the score right now. They are just playing mad after that loss to Montana. 77 to nothing. The Flyers poured on the second half with a huge statement win against the 3 and 2. Now 3 and 3. Eastern Illinois Panthers. Flyers improved to 5-1 and one on the season. And they get a huge shutout here against a Big Ten opponent. I can't wait to see these stats, folks. My goodness. Smash Jackson came in the game with just three touchdowns on the ground in the year. And he now has seven. 85 yards of offense for Eastern Illinois. 639 for the Dayton Flyers. 358 on the ground. 281 through the air. Martin did have a few picks. But he had three touchdowns as well. My goodness. Four takeaways for the Dayton defense. And we're still working on the passing game here for the Flyers. Just trying to get timing down with these receivers. And just be a little more careful with the ball. Obviously, we threw a few picks here today. But we are working on it. Two safeties for the Dayton Flyer defense today. Just, I... I don't know when the last time is that I saw two safeties in one game. Flyers put up 35 points in the fourth quarter to just completely dismantle the Eastern Illinois Panthers. 280 yards through the air for Jared Martin. Three touchdowns, three picks. But, like I said, we're working on it. We'll get there. 61% today, so we're improving in the accuracy department. He sacked twice. Jackson, 168 yards today. Four touchdowns. Sonny six with two on the ground. 142 yards. Dorian Burr ahead of touchdown run with 46 yards. He now has a buck 40 for the season. And no fumbles. Trent Green, five catches, 146 yards. He won over 1,000 yards receiving for his career today. And a couple touchdowns. A couple drops here. One for Amari Manuel. Trent Green had one as well. Like Bobo, freshman left tackle, 11 pancakes today. My goodness. He also had a flipping call, I believe, or a holding call. 10 tackles for D.B. Slocum. 
Slow coming out with 29 tackles on the season. Rob Orlandi had five, but he also had two picks. Slow coming out a pick. Dirk Davis, two tackles today, gives him 21 on the season. So DB Slocum leads the team in tackles. Look at these tackles for a loss. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. How many more tackles for a loss? 12, 13. Oh my goodness. There's just so many tackles for a loss. Five sacks as well. Two for Harris, two for Carter, one for Foster. And three picks. Bob Orlandi, he's just, his hands are just made of stick'em, I'm telling you. So he now has 14 interceptions for his career at middle linebacker. A couple safeties today. Jermaine Price, DB Slocum. Slocum did everything today. My goodness. Carter made a 46 yard field goal today with 25 mile an hour wins. And nothing crazy on any of the returns. Uh, there was a 45 yard punt return, uh, but I, I don't remember why I didn't show you guys that, but whatever. Sunny Six, Smash Jackson, Robert Landy plays the game for Dayton. Very solid performance from that defense and the offense. Next Flyer football game, they travel and take on the Youngstown State Penguins in another Big Ten matchup. And our final game of week number seven is going to be San Diego traveling to take on the fifth-ranked Cal Poly Mustangs in a full broadcast game. I'll see you guys at that one tomorrow. Take it easy.